Tonight, WRG's Alex Coleman takes a closer look at what city leaders hope to do about the problem. At a time when most Memphians are beleaguered by crime that they see or hear about almost every day, another crime that often hits closer to home goes unseen and unheard. Domestic violence, fusion of simple assaults, aggravated assaults, harassment, stalking, and order of protection violations. One of the things that we've seen uh, with domestic violence this year, uh, 6% of our calls that we get for service uh, have been for domestic violence related incidents. That's uh, 42,000, a little bit over 42,000 calls we received this year. MPD says the good news is there were actually fewer domestic violence calls this year. Last year, they peaked at almost 45,000. Think about that. This one city, this is one city, a black city. I mean, a chocolate city. Memphis is as black as it gets. This side of Haiti in Africa. And back to back years, man, they had 45,000 and 42,000 domestic violence calls. It's safe to say sisters are burning 911 up. Sisters are. Almost abusing 911. I mean, some men can't be this violent. Black men can't be that violent, man. The way I got to call 45,000 times one year and 42,000 times the next year. Talk to me. I, 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 what's up, chat? Is it? A black man that violent or a sister's abusing 911. Wow. Sisters, man. Burning up 911, man. Flaming 911. Tonight, the Justice Department says it's assessing the deadly police shooting of Sonia Massey, the Illinois woman who called 911 about a possible prowler only to be shot and killed by a sheriff's deputy in her own home. CBS's Roxana Saberi has new information about the former deputy charged with Massey's murder. We do want to warn you that some of this video is disturbing. It's one of the worst police shooting videos ever. State records obtained by CBS News show Sean Grayson, a 30-year-old former private first class in the Army, worked for five different law enforcement agencies in just under three years before being hired by the Sangamon County Sheriff's Office last year. CBS News has also learned Grayson was charged twice with driving under the influence of alcohol in 2015 and 2016. He pleaded guilty both times. Ben Crump is an attorney for Massey's family. Why was he even hired by the Sheriff's Department? A DUI conviction is not a disqualification from law enforcement in Illinois. Today, some of Massey's family members accused the sheriff's office of trying to initially cover up what happened. Now, Massey's father is demanding Sheriff Jack Campbell resign. I think it's a culture to treat this family this bad. If it were Body camera video revealing the moments just before Grayson shot Massey in the face. You only watched a little bit of the video. You had to stop. Yeah, I can't. I can't finish it. Massey's 17-year-old son, Malachi, and her mm. mother, Donna, say the they're time. still in shock. This can't be real. I don't know how this could be real. <laughs> I'm sorry. Back out there. Now, well, Soon hoops. He can joke now, but 15-year-old Kylan Clark is still wearing the scars of a dangerous internet challenge gone wrong. The situation is here, so you can't, like, really just not deal with it. Kylan says last week he and his friend were looking up the hot water challenge on YouTube. When he fell asleep, he says his friend heated up some water and poured it on him. It was supposed to be a... <laughs> Yo. The hot water challenge on YouTube. When he fell asleep, he says his friend heated up some water and poured it on him. It was supposed to be a joke. Like I came to my senses, the water got hot, and I just got up and I ripped my shirt off, 
Kylan ran to a bathroom to try to escape the pain. And then, like, I looked down at my chest, and my skin just fell off my chest. And then I went in there, I looked in the mirror, and then I had skin falling off right here, all my face. When is dangerous, man. I don't want to think that there's a lot of people out there that just think that's something slight. They think, oh, you know, oh, my bad. My, oh, my bad. My bad for pulling boiling hot water on your face. My bad. Oops. <laughs> like, everybody should know that that's like something you don't do. Everybody should know. That's crazy, man. Escape the pain. And then, like, I looked down at my chest, and my skin just fell off my chest. And then I went in there, and I looked in the mirror, and then I had skin falling off right here, and all my face. When the damage was done, Kylan suffered second degree burns on his back, chest, and face, putting him in the hospital for a week. It was one of his mother Andrea's worst nightmares. To see my baby all burnt up like that. It was heartbreaking. Doctors with IU Health say they're starting to see more of these so-called internet challenges land people in the emergency room. And it's suggesting to people that they can try it. Maybe they won't be hurt, but they will be. I can guarantee. In the case of the hot water challenge, Dr. Ed Barkis says it's possible to end up with permanent disfigurement due to burns. Or if someone swallows the hot water, burns the airway that could cause them to close resulting in death. If your friends are telling you to do this, they are not good friends. Thoughts echoed by Kylan and Andrea Clark, who say for now, they're just glad Kylan is on the road to recovery. It could have been worse. My son could have died. There's a limit to what you should do in the challenge and what you shouldn't do. Like, don't take it overboard. So this is them in the backyard. Think about this, man. They've been called for a prowler. They show up. They show up and start looking in the backyards for a prowler. Now, at any time, somebody could pop out of the shadows and shoot them. Press one. At any time, someone could pop out of the shadows and shoot these cops. At any time. This woman called, said, hey, man, it's a prowler in my, it's a prowler around my house. These guys show up and look for the prowler. What if there was a prowler and it's a sun man? That interaction could turn bad. What if it was just some sun men hanging out? What if it was just some... What if it was just some sun men hanging out? She could have got them killed with this erroneous 911 call. What if it was some sun men just, just fooling around, um, smoking a little weed, drinking a little, a little malt liquor? And the police roll up, hey, man, we're looking for a prowler. And then that shit goes left. The sun men say what they say. They get sassy. And then next thing you know, you she put the whole community in danger by claiming that there was a prowler around her apartment. Now you got cops walking through. And you got a bunch of sassy sun men in the neighborhood probably going to get smart or be belligerent or be uncooperative with the summit if they come across them, if they come across these cops. So I, I noticed that. What I noticed early was like, damn, somebody like just, just calling the cops and telling them to come look around the neighborhood for a prowler, that could have been very dangerous, man. Press one. Shout out to DM, man. DM says, when will toaster in the bathtub be the newest prank trick? <laughs> oh, shit. Kids are getting dumber. No one I knew was this stupid when I was young. Yeah. 
Yeah, they, they are getting dumber, man. She called the cops. These guys showed up and started doing police work. Notice they're doing police work. This is what police do. They're investigating. The woman called, the black woman, made a phone call, said, hey, man, I think there's a prowler outside my house. The police came and started doing police work, started investigating, looking for the prowler. And man, let me tell you, I've seen them walk in like 10 people's backyards. These cops are doing a fantastic job. They didn't just come and just, and then go and, and then and just, you know what I'm saying? You know how it, listen. In these black neighborhoods where there's so much crime and so much just BS all the time. All this little drama going on all the time that cops got to, you know, constantly adjudicate and mediate even when they don't arrest people. These cops could have rolled up and just said, uh, oh, man, we looked and we didn't see any prowler. They actually looked through the whole neighborhood for the prowler. Press one. Yo, they looked through the whole neighborhood. Salute to these cops. They did their job. Some black woman, some crazy ass black woman called 911 and said it was a prowler lurking around their house, her house. They showed up and looked around the entire neighborhood. Okay, so the woman reports a prowler. This woman reported a prowler after searching the entire neighborhood. They come back to the woman's driveway and they see a window smashed on the car. Chat, is it reasonable for the cops to deduce that this broken window in this woman's driveway could have something to do with the prowler call? Would a reasonable police officer make that connection?
hey, this sister called about a prowler. We looked everywhere. There's nobody anywhere, but there is a car in her front yard, in her driveway, with a window busted out. Maybe we should investigate this further, man. Could have something to do with the prowler call. So now let's go talk to the woman who made the call. Let's go talk to the because people are, are saying, why did they why did they come up to the woman and ask her a bunch of questions? Um, well, she made a call for 911 saying there was a prowler. They searched the entire neighborhood. There wasn't any prowler anywhere. And then when they came to her front yard, they they found a, a, a car in the driveway with the window busted out. So it makes sense to, hey, hey, lady who called us, um, what's up with the car with the busted window in your front driveway? Because black people don't understand that black people are acting like they have no clue the, the, this chain of events makes no sense to them. I've been online all day, and maybe two black people understand the chain of events. Two out of, like, thousands. And I'm just trying to make sure that I'm not crazy. Okay, so they, they begin to knock on the woman's door. Is it reasonable for them to expect her to come to the door in a prompt manner since she called them? And they showed up immediately. They She called them. They showed up immediately. Is it reasonable for a police officer to expect the person who called them to answer the door in a prompt manner. Look, he's still looking. This cop, he's still looking. He's still looking. This is um our friend Sean Grayson. He's still looking for the prowler while the other guys are at the door. He's still looking for the prowler. So now, if I'm an officer, man, I want to ask another question. Is it reasonable a woman's called 911 complaining about a prowler outside of her house? You come. You search the perimeter for the prowler. You don't see the prowler. You then knock, you see a busted window, a car with a busted window in her front yard. You then knock on her door 
and she doesn't answer, is it reasonable for a cop to start to think, is the prowler inside now? Is this woman in danger? Did the prowler enter her house? Is she in danger? Is that why she's not answering the door? Is it reasonable? Given the chain of events, would that put the cops in a heightened state of awareness? Well, dude, she called the cops. Like you talking about, they didn't answer. They didn't. They didn't announce themselves. They the, the, the cops that it's a cop car sitting in your driveway, and it's two. Like. And it's people knocking at your door. You called the cops. Like, I think at this point, the cops are wondering if the, if the prowler got in the house because she's not answering the door. They're probably like, yo, what the hell's going on? Why is she not answering the door? Do we got to kick down the door and go in there and save her? They're, they're, um, their blood pressure's raising. They're... You want to try and call her 17 back here and let her know we're out front? Did you see anybody out walking that way? No, not when I came in. I didn't see anybody out there. I hear a phone ring and she's using some of the doors. We're about to get She was yelling inside. She's supposed to hold on. You coming to the door or not? All right. Hurry up. Now, some people were upset that he 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 said you're coming to the door or not. But look, man, are you coming to the door or not, lady? Like, what's good? Are you okay? What's going on? Now, people are saying, <clears throat> some people are saying they should have just left. Some people are saying they should have just left. Now, here's the thing. 
What do you guys think would have happened if they just left and the prowler was inside holding the woman hostage, telling her to throw the cops off? Bitch, got a gun to her head. Bitch, tell the cops to leave. Tell them you are all right. Tell them you don't need no more help. And the, and the prowler harmed that woman. What do you think would happen if the cops just left? There's a prowler on the loose. Even though there, we we know that she's she was she made it all up, but and the, the cops don't know this at this point. There's a prowler on the loose. What do you think happens if the cops just leave? And this one, and it really was a prowler, and some black woman got harmed by a prowler, and some white cops didn't come and do their job. They don't care about us. We the least protected did. We be the least protected did. If it was a white woman, they would have never just left it. We the least protected did. So I think the cops did a, a good job not leaving. Not leaving the least they did, protected the D, D, C, D. There's a prowler on the loose. There's a busted up car in the driveway. We've searched the whole neighborhood. There's no prowler out here. Maybe he's inside with the woman telling her not to open the door, telling her to throw the cops off, get rid of the cops. Maybe she's in harm's way. We can't just leave. Press one. We be the least in it protected in the. Uh, she was yelling inside. So hold on. You coming to the door or not? All right, hurry up. What you hear? Somebody came by my house, y'all. Okay. So she's confirming that there was a prowler, even though we know she's probably lying. But she, they don't know that. All they know is she said, yeah, somebody came by my house, y'all. So the, the, the next question the cop asked now, is that your car with the busted window? Listen, so far, everything they've done makes sense to me, man. Because we're hearing about how aggressive. I was online today. There was some how aggressive and supremacist TD, supremacy, supremacist E they were. How white supremacist -y they were and aggressive they were and how out of line they were and how they did this wrong and that wrong. Yo, everything they've done so far makes absolute 100% sense to me, considering they don't know 
the backs, they, they, they're they looking at it in real time. They're not us looking back on it. Press one. How do I know she's lying about the prowler? Well, they searched the whole entire neighborhood for the prowler. Then they went in her house. The prowler's not outside. He's not inside. Maybe the prowler busted her window. Who knows? I say I think she's lying. I didn't say one thousand percent she's lying. I, I, my 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 inner intuition tells me she's lying about the problem. Her daughter says she's a paranoid schizophrenic. What'd you hear? Uh, somebody outside my house. Uh, uh, get your car over here. Please, uh, please, uh, please. You said turn up here. the YouTube uh -huh. video. Oh. Let me show. Sheriff's office. The one you called. Oh, it hurts you. You called us. Okay. So, what'd you hear? Uh, somebody outside my house. Uh, uh, is this your car over here? Is this your car over here? Uh -uh. Oh. That's not your black. So, that's not her car. So, there's a there's a busted up car in the front yard that doesn't belong to her. So, now I, if I'm a cop, I'm saying, is that the prowler's car? Is that the prowler's car? Because, listen, the cops came over here to find a the prowler. There's a, there's a car with a busted window in your front yard that's not yours. Is it the prowler? Car in the driveway? Mm -mm. Oh, well, we checked your yard. We walked around the whole block. We didn't see anybody. Mm -mm. Right? You know, we don't. I mean, we checked the whole area. There's nobody out walking around. I know, y'all. Please, God. Please, God. I'm trying to get help, y'all, but... What do you need help with? Nothing. I just, please, God, please, God, please. I don't know what to do. So now she's talking vague, incoherent bullshit. So if I'm the cop, I'm like, is the prowler in the house? Does he have her? Does she have kids? Does the prowler have her kids hostage? Told her to come get rid of the cops or he's going to harm the kids? What's going on? Maybe we need to investigate inside the house because she's acting weird. She's acting very strange. There's a car with a busted window in her front yard that doesn't belong to her. And, it, and she just called the police asking for assistance or for a prowler. Is the prowler inside? Did the prowler send her out here to get rid of us? Did the prowler say, hey, man, I'm going to kill your kids if you don't get out there and tell them and, and get rid of them cops? Anything could be going through these cops' mind. Because people are like, why did they go inside the house? They shouldn't have went inside the house, man. We is the most least in protected they did. And it's like, yo... The way she's acting is so crazy that if I'm a cop, I'm just going to go in to make sure there's, there's nobody inside, like holding her and her family hostage or nothing. Salute to Tonic T, man. Tonic T says, ah. Thanks for bringing some common sense to this. Too many people are just feeling it and not looking at the full story. Salute. Salute to you, man. Yeah, man. Listen, man. That's what we do here, man. Every single night, man. Hit the like button, man. We're going for 300 likes early, man. In the driveway? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, we checked your yard. We walked around the whole block. We didn't see anybody. Mm -hmm. Right? You know, we don't. 
I know y'all. Please God, please God. I'm trying to get help, y'all, but what do you need help with? Nothing. I just please God, please God, please. I don't know what to do. Do with what? Huh? What do you need help with? Nothing. I just wanted to see if I could help me. What do you want help with? Huh? What do you want help with? Huh? I heard somebody outside. Yeah, we checked your house. We checked your backyard. I walked all the way through all these backyards. We checked your front yard. We didn't see nobody. Yeah, so. Nobody's out here. You didn't see anybody? No. Nope. Nope. Oh. We checked the whole area. Okay. What take you so long to answer the door? Oh, I was trying to put on some clothes, sir. I'm sorry. I was trying to get I got gotcha. you. Now, bl black people are upset that he asked that question. But it seems like a, a, a responsible cop would ask that question. What took you so long to answer the door? That seems like a that seems like a rational, reasonable question. Black people are pissed about that. Why he say that, man? And it's like it's part of the investigation. Yo, hey, uh, why'd you take so long to answer the door? Oh, it's a guy back there. He got my kids at gunpoint. He told me to come out here and get rid of y'all. I mean, all right. Is there anything else we can do for you? Is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, no, sir. Okay. Okay. All right. You doing all right mentally? Yes. Sure. All right. Okay. I love she said, I love y'all. Think right now. Okay. The cop asked her, is she doing all right mentally? Another reasonable question. The way she's acting. Now, he should have left here. I will admit, white officers, first of all, white officers, I would never police a black area. Black people, first off, they commit too much crime. So you're going to be working like a Hebrew slave, just dealing with the crime. But then you got to deal with all this extra bullshit from people that you don't really understand like that. Like, he would probably be able to understand some white people. These black people are different than what we're different than white people. He probably doesn't understand her nature, her essence. Like, if I was a white guy, I would never police anywhere that had black people. Ever. Black people are trouble. They're problem children. They will destroy you. Black people, if you try to help black people, they will destroy you. And that's what cops do. They try to help black people. Salute to Sean Dank. He said, $5 challenge. Ock, help these libs in the chat see the whole story. They have been sipping the mainstream Kool-Aid. Yeah, man, listen, man. They're not being reasonable. Those liberals and those blacks, they're not being reasonable. Any reasonable person can see this interaction and see that these cops are the heroes in this situation. Why this woman didn't call Black Lives Matter? Why didn't she call the NFAC, the not fucking around crew or whatever the fuck? Why didn't she call the damn Nation of Islam? She called the cops and they showed up immediately and searched the whole area and started doing an investigation into what she claimed happened. These cops are friggin' heroes, man. Shout out to Laughing Dog, man. He says she's cunning as fuck. I, she keeps saying I need help. They can't tell 100% if she's speaking in code or not. Yep. They can't tell, like, wait a second, man. Is this somebody in the house? Because we did, we were called here about a prowler. They don't know who she, they don't know if she got 
They don't know if she lived with her mother and her father, her 16 kids. They don't know if she's the lady in the shoe. They don't know what's going on in that house. And she keeps talking crazy. So they're like, yo, let, let us go up in this and make sure everything's secure up in this house before we leave the scene. Thank God. All right. That's not your black car, though. That's you, Who's is it? You don't know if someone just parked it in your driveway? Mm -hmm. They brought it to my driveway. And just left it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's run back. Yeah. So she claimed that someone just brought a SUV with a busted window to her driveway and left it in her driveway. So now they're going to run the tags. Black people were upset about this too. This is part of the investigation. She said somebody just drove a car with a busted window in her front yard and left it. Maybe it's a stolen car. Maybe they can recover a stolen or a carjacked car. Maybe this can lead them to the prowler. Maybe they can run the tags and the person whose car this is, they can learn more about the situation by finding out whose car that is. Black people were incensed about this. They had no clue why the cops went and ran this tag number. They were like, they, black people were like, oh, 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 oh. it's perfectly reasonable for them to go run the tag number after she just said that. Who's is it? <laughs> You don't know if someone just parked it in your driveway? Mm -hmm. They brought it to my driveway. And just left it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's run back. Yeah. 19, I got a 24. Is anyone else living here with you? David Mary, 43556. You got a name? You got a name? Black people didn't understand this either. Black Twitter was black Twitter didn't understand why the cops looked in her room. And listen, I know you're just like they had there's no way. I know you're like, there's no way they didn't understand that. They didn't understand why the cops looked in the room to make sure just to just clear the, they didn't go in the room, but they just looked in there. They don't they they have no they they were they were upset about that. All of them. Hello? Yeah, I need, um, I got the sheriff's department here, but I was calling for help from y'all. They're here in my house right now. Okay, hold on, you're going to need to talk to them. No, hold on, wait a second, wait a second, sir. You can hang up, Cardo, that's good. Hold on, you're there with the deputy, correct? No, hold on, okay? You can hang up. Hold on for what? Uh, just one second, okay? Okay. What's up? Uh, I got some paperwork. Can you grab that Bible, please? Yeah. Hey, I just need your name so we can get out of here. Has there was there any damage previous to your car? See the water, the pot burning. You see the pot. See the pot just a flame, and that pot just a sizzling. Uh, previous, yeah. It was. Okay, what was the damage? A dent, I believe. But what about when? Uh, 
Previous to your car? Uh, previous, yeah. It okay, was. What was the damage? A dent, I believe. But what about windows? Oh, that, it was something that happened earlier. Okay, perfect. So hold on, so now that's her car. So now she's saying that that SUV with the bus, the window is her car, and it's something that happened earlier. You say, is that a hospital band around her wrist? It sure looks like one. That's what the paperwork is about. She just got out the mental. She just came home from the funny farm. I guarantee you she just came home from the funny farm. That's why that's the paperwork she probably wants to show them. They're here in my house right now. Okay. Hold on. Well, hold on. Wait a second. Wait a second, sir. You can hang up, Carlo. Okay. Hold on. You're there with the deputy. question massey what's your last name massey m-a-s-s-e-y m-a-s-s-e-y bye officer told her told her all i need is your last name so we can get out of here massey m-a-s-s-e-y bye name so we can get out of here has there was there any damage previous to your car uh previous yeah it okay, was. what was the damage a dent i believe but what about windows oh that it was something that happened earlier okay perfect uh what is your last name uh, should not think about your last name okay. you're not in trouble i just need to Massey. text huh Massey. what yeah. do you have an id that made things so much easier I, I just need to just, just driver's license will do, and I'll get out of your hair. So now he's asking for a driver's license because he doesn't trust her. She told him that the car in the front yard, she didn't know whose car that was. I mean, the car in the driveway, she didn't know whose car that was. After prodding her more, he, he found out that it is her car. And that she did know about the busted window was something that happened earlier. She's been speaking gibberish and vague, BS, babbling, vague. Then she, he, she pauses and hesitates to give him her last name. So then he's like, hold on, man. Sound like she's in his head. He's probably like, she's probably lying. Let me get you. Just give me your driver's license so I can get your last name off your driver's license. And we can, we can, you know, say who we contacted when we went to the, to the, to the, to the call, we contacted X so-and-so and we can have a record of that. Sounds pretty reasonable, man. So far. I want to show y'all my paperwork. I will what, get your paperwork. What paperwork? Okay. I got some paperwork. Well, just get your ID. Well, let's get your ID first, and then one task at a time here. Okay. Let me here, grab your ID for me. Okay. 
So now she's going. She's offered to show them some some additional information, other than the information they've asked for. Uh, okay. Your ID. One task at a time. So let's do an ID, and then you can dig around for your uh, paperwork. I don't know where my ID is. You have that stack right there, maybe. One second. Check on her. We don't need a fire while we're here. So she started walking towards them with steaming water. She didn't turn it off. She picked it up off the stove and brought it over towards, even though this is in the way she started walking towards them to the point where they're like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? I don't think these cops would be like, yo, what the fuck are you doing it for no reason? It doesn't seem like they would just be like, yo, what the fuck? We don't need a fire while we're here. All right. Okay. Okay. Where are you going? Huh? Where are you going? Uh, away from your hot steaming water. Away from my hot steaming water? Yeah. Now, here's my thing. This right here is an escalation. I think what he was trying to do, and this is where we first go wrong, where I first feel like he did something that didn't make sense. Total sense. It made sort of sense. He's trying to intimidate her out of throwing it. Because as you know, if you if you catch a if you catch some scalding hot water to the face, man, your your life is you're going to have to have a bunch of surgeries, man. You're going to have to have a bunch of surgeries, man. Um, if you get if you catch that pot to the face, you're gonna be in surgery. You're gonna have like five or six surgeries, skin grafts, they're gonna be pulling skin off your ass and putting it on your face. And I'm not talking about the pain, I'm not even talking about the pain, I'm just talking about your life going forward. You're gonna have a bunch of surgeries. Okay. Skin grafts. All types of stuff. I think why he pulled his gun was to intimidate her. Like he I think he knew she was going to try to throw it cuz we don't we all know that she ended up trying to throw it on him. We saw that little snippet where she ended up trying to actually throw it on him. I think he knew she was going to try to throw it on him. And he tried to intimidate her out of doing it. Like, bitch, I'll shoot you in your face. Because all it takes is for a second for her to just Toss that shit and boom, it's in your face. You said, why let her near it? To turn it off. You think he knew when he sent her over there to turn it off that she was going to throw it on him? I don't, I didn't get that. I didn't get the energy that he knew that she was going to try to throw a pot of boiling water on him. Their interaction up to that point didn't give, didn't get, I, I don't get the energy that he, that she was like, that was like, Hey man, this bitch about to throw a pot, pot of boiling water on us. I don't think he thought that was going to happen until she walked towards him and they was like, yo, what the hell? And then she said what she said. And then, then it was like, and I think he tried to intimidate her out of throwing it. 
That's why he pulled his gun. Like, hey, bitch, don't do that shit. You better not do that shit. And it, it didn't work. D from Boston says, thanks for looking at this from a logical lens and not an emotional one. You can see something is off with this woman. This is George Floyd 2.0. They're trying it. They're trying. They're fishing. My man, Bernie's road book tour, man. The verbal warning is what's giving me staged. When does cops say I'll shoot you in the face? Cops don't say that. Yeah, the fuck they do. <laughs> yeah, the hell they do say that. What do you mean stage? You mean like this is a conspiracy, man? <laughs> you mean like this didn't really, you mean that this is the, the Illuminati set this up, man? Let me get this off my screen, man. <laughs> you tripping, man. This is a this is one of the million police interactions that happened that day in this great country, man. From sea to shine to sea, man. This is just one of them that happened, man. There was a bunch of them that happened that you ain't gonna hear about because nothing happened. There was no there was no black person that died in them. Um, now here's the thing from here there's no way he could have shot her in the face if she ducked to the ground that's why when you see, that's why even though we can't see it in this video, it makes sense that even without seeing the other video that she reared her. Drop the fire, John Drop the fucking pot. Drop the fucking pot. Drop the and as you guys know, as we, as we, as we uh, pointed out yesterday, as we pointed out yesterday, from that cop's body cam, which was, the sound was off. That's her rearing up to throw the pot. That's why he was able to shoot her in the face from that angle. Because if she had hit the ground, he wouldn't have been able to shoot her in the face. Remember, the pot was no longer back here. The pot was over here. So some... <laughs> so she picked that pot up to throw that shit at his ass. And listen, if you want to be upset that he got too close to her, don't be mad when people say don't police black communities. I'll give you he shouldn't have gotten close to her if you give me, hey, all white dudes, don't police black communities. Can we, can we, um, can we, can we do that? <laughs> can we, um, can we make that fair exchange? He was wrong for moving forward. When she when she ducked behind the um the counter, but also white people should stay out of black communities. Let black people police themselves. Yeah, that's true. Her hands was up, man. Her hands was up, man. Her hands were up. You right, man. <laughs> he shot her with her hands up, man. Look at this was one hand right here. 
And this is another hand right here, man. Her hands was up, man. Hands up, don't shoot, man. That's a damn shame, man. Let me let me drop the link, man. Hands up, don't shoot, man. Yeah, man, that cop, man, he violated, man. Her hands was up, man. Hands up, don't shoot, man. Racist white supremacist, man. It's racist white supremacist. Shot that sister with her hands up, man. Racist supremacist, man. What's going on, man? Peace, peace. You said this stage, you said it was stage, man. So from what I want to say, for me, yeah, hold on, let me, let me, because it's giving me, it's giving me Derek Chauvin vibes because you don't hear. I watch a lot of body cam arrests and police activity on YouTube. You don't really right. hear, I'm going to shoot you in the fucking face. And as as he says it, at that exact moment, the other officer's body cam pans on him. So it's like, it's, it's so it gives you that Derek Chauvin foot on the neck. That's what I mean by stage. It's, it's like they made sure to give you something to, for the shock value. Because from what my observation is, Maybe in year in real life, yes, they. I'm not. I'm sure they say that, but typically you don't see that or hear it on camera on cue like that. So what do you mean on cue, the only cue is that the cue you're making in your head because you're watching the video. Like there's no cue. Like this cop was had a whole day. That woman had a whole day. That you're just the cue you're thinking about is just a video of their life that you're seeing a snippet out of their life. There's no cue there, dude. This is just part of their life. We're watching their life. But did you see him point at the pot? Yeah, I saw him. Uh, the pot was bubbling. It so was all to be bubbling. So he he points to the pot. It's like he gives a signal, and then she gets up and follows the signal. So you're saying that this didn't really happen organically? Just it, saying that this it, is it just feels staged to me. Now this is just my theory because I'm I'm looking at things that they can do that we not we won't think they can do. She has a hospital ban on her wrist, and my wild conspiracy. I think they sent her home knowing she was homicidal. She may have been talking about doing something like this. And now she home at night, three in the morning, boiling water. I'm a dial 911. Get them over to my house. And then they got this doofy cop <laughs> to sing. <laughs> knowing he's a doofus and trigger happy. I don't know, man. It's just when you watch it, you could be right. It 